Okay, so I've, I've arrived in Juba, South Sudan, and um, a little messy right now because I just took a shower after a long, hot couple of days of travel, and uh, I'm at my hotel now, and um, this is actually a pretty good place. I'm just going to give you a short tour of it. So going in, um, it's a little dark, but that's okay. And got a nice big TV and got some cabinets. I basically made a mess with all my suitcases and stuff, but um, got plenty of storage. The bed is good. It looks comfortable. The linens um, are clean, or at least appear to be clean. There's a mosquito net with no rips in it. I don't see any um, blood stains or people smash bugs or anything like that. I have got a microwave and a teapot and just to help me feel like I'm still at home in South Carolina there is a tiny little lizard trapped in my mosquito net. Let's see if he'll move. He might be dead there. Oh, well, he's alive. Come on. Move it along buddy. There you go. Alright, so it's just like South Carolina. And then I've got a mirror and a table with some, I don't know what that is, might be, I don't know, might be tea or coffee, I'm not really sure what that is. Bathroom is not bad at all. I've got a western style toilet, thank God for that. Um, I have a shower with a hot water tank, which is a real bonus because usually they have this thing called the Widowmaker, which is basically like a... Uh, um, a waffle iron that you pour water over and it makes it hot that way and it, if you touch the the handle of the shower when you do that you get shocked so this is a real this is a real upgrade here um, sink is really nice with my dirty laundry on there and I think that is about it I mean it's very simple but Definitely, I can live with this. Um, I've stayed in some pretty sketchy places in South Sudan before. Oh, oh, the bonus, air conditioning, and it works. So, nice place, and uh, they've got a restaurant outside, and um, this looks like a good home base to be in for the next few days. So, um, this is kind of what you can expect if you come to Juba. Um, there are some really nice places out there where you can stay at, but I have never stayed at one of them. This was pretty reasonable, and I, I'm, I'm happy with this. So, catch you later.